Try to build this simple any logic model consisting of source, resource, and destination or where would you dispose the system. So this is when you create the people heading into the system. This is the operator. And the step here is when you exit the system. As well as I'm going to show you how to build an animation in order to display this shape, how the people are are into the system so if you run if you run this so you could see here people are into the system those are the people waiting in the queue and this is the process here but the second i enable the pen the screen will stop working so here is the operator while the value here is people waiting in the system so as you could see the system. So I'm going to show you in this video how to build this step by step. This will be tutorial number one. And I left my email address in the box below. So tutorial number one, how to start on any logic from literally scratch. Like if you know nothing about any logic. So let's start. So the second you open. So once you click on any logic, which is that button below. So you have the starting screen. And this is a educational copy. So we're going to do create a model. So what we have here at the screen, you have the model name and you have the Java package. All what you have to do is just to write here in this part. And by default, this name would be replicated here. And where that file will be stored in which location. And it is up to you to change this location. And what would be the model time unit? I will explain. Model time unit, if it is in minute, and if you're calculating the average waiting time in a system and you obtain a value of 25, which means 25 minutes. But if you put the model time unit in hours and you get the average waiting time in a system is 30 minutes, 30, excuse me. So uh, that value will be 0 0.5 hours. I will repeat, if the model time, if the average waiting time in a system uh, is 30 and that value model time unit is in minute so that value would be 30 minutes okay so if someone waited on average for 30 minutes if you put here model time unit in minute so you're going to obtain a value of 30 if you put model time unit in hours you're going to obtain a value of 0 0.5 hours if you put it in seconds so it's going to be 30 times 60 seconds okay so this is our first model and then we're going to click on to finish to create the new model. I'm gonna take a few seconds just to explain what we have here. So to start with, if you have created several models, you will have them here as similar to this, okay? But it's better, if you want my opinion, always just work at one at a time. Do not open several files at a time. So we have here the main panel or diagram where we placed all our model as well as the animation. And we have here the palette. So just in case you forgot to assign the model time unit at the start screen, you can assign it here to minute, okay? And we have here the palette. So to start with, what I want is a, is a source. Source, which means the starting point of a system. So this is system in. And if I click on source, so we have the name is so we need to change it from here and not from there. So we have system in and the name has to be, sorry about this. It has to be no spacing in the name and the arrival rate defined rate. It's not a constant. We're going to consider it as inter arrival time. Otherwise that other one would be constant. So if you put here 0 0.2 minutes, how, how often a unit or a person will come into the system. First arrival occurs at model start okay when the model when you start the model okay so this is system in so if i zoom a little bit just to be able to see it properly and so we did the system in the next point would be we have a queue in the system so by default it's linked but if you place it a little bit farther away all what you have to do is to double click the zero or the green circle and attach it yourself Okay, so this is the queue in the system. So queue ahead of 
ahead of the process. Again, it has to be uh, no space. And then we do the maximum capacity and always do the four statistics collection no, 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 needed to obtain the statistics and as well as the systems in. Okay, as we could see here. So we have, so this is the source and now we have the delay. So our delay is about the process, which we're gonna call it ATM, and we have a capacity of one, meaning what? There is one operator at a time in that system. So if I delete this exponential, exponential, okay? And this one is 0 0.25 minute. Uh, I need to bring your attention to the following. So uh, the arrival, is 0 0.2 exponential and the service time is zero let me just write it like this is 0 0.25 minutes so the arrival it is more frequent so it's less frequent and we have less the service time which is 0 0.25 it's taking more time than the arrival rate which means we're going to end up with a queue and this is the point of it because i want to see the queue is building up in the system Mind you that here we put maximum capacity. And concerning ATM, we again we force the statistics collection. Uh, collection uh, sorry, uh, collection. And we always we want to restore agent location exit as if we're gonna make him ready for the next point to come into the system. And then we have the sink, which is the system, which is the system exit. So this one is. Okay. System exit, and now we're gonna build the animation, which is very straightforward and it's quite easy. So concerning the animation, which is a part here, so we need to start with is the point node. Point node, which means where the resource is to be located. Okay, where. Not a resource, well, it is a resource like an operator, but it is known in any logic as agent. So, where the agent will be located. So, we did the point node here, and so we have ATM node, okay, and then we have the ATM node and that value here. So one more thing we need to do is position and size, advanced and description. So we have here this ATM node and we need to do this ATM, which means agent location. So this is the ATM node. So we're gonna say this is the ATM node will be at this location, as you could see here. So we call this ATM node and the operator will be placed at this one. This is crucial to know where it will be considered and then we need to define the path okay and then so this is done so we need okay and again the same way so this is the q pass and so and as well for the queue, we need to do the agent location as the queue pass. So the next step would be, I need, if I go back to the simulation, so we need to run it uh, just to make it a little bit faster. So 10 scale per unit and never stop yet. No, stop at a specific time. So 100, 1440, okay. And so if we, the next step would be, to build the model, which is either model F7 or F5, or we click on this one, we build the model, make sure the model is correct. If you don't build it, if there is an error, it will show you there is an error. And then I'm gonna maximize this. We click on this one and we zoom it in the system, as well as what I'm gonna do. You could accelerate uh, the speeding of any logic from here. Uh, this to slow it down. Uh, the speeding you remember when you put the scale to 10 so this is what it means that like we put it 10 times here so if i stop it and then i run it again so we have let me just zoom in 
So we accelerate it by default, which is a scale. So we could slow it down to back to one, or we could accelerate it, or could just like click one button to get it finished. So if I run it again, and then I need to show you a couple of things. So while it is, sorry, we have it on virtual, which is the, that one here finished. Virtual, which means like go as fast as you can, which is not needed. So I'm gonna slow it down just to be able to see it properly. So this is a scale of 10 we defined inside. So, and now it is, let's run it again. Okay, so now it is running. So if I click on this one, okay, you should be able to see the capacity is one, how many in, how many out, contain one or zero, which is like, this is what really matters in that system. Here it contains zero, like nothing in the queue, or it could be one or two or three. And here system exit, and how much it contain or how many has, has left the system. Okay, this is only up, up visible when you stop running. So if I do it like virtual and it stop running, so I get how many ones has been in the system, how many ones they left in the system. Here, because it didn't appear, because it didn't force uh, connection, we didn't force statistics. Okay, so you could see that we didn't have lots of queues, it was always 0, 1, 2. And the reason for that is because the time is almost exactly the same for the surface time, exponential 0 0.25, while uh, the arrival time it was 0 0.2 minute exponential. Okay, so it was more arrival, a little bit difference between the two, just for the sake to, to see some queue in the system. Alright, okay, so that would be tutorial number one to get you started on any logic.